What's up, Kieran? This is Brett with my music lessons. Today we're talking about Behind Your Eyes by John Foreman, who is the lead singer of Switchfoot. So um, all out of it's basically going to look like this. Um. Now what's happening though is it's actually a pretty simple chord structure. There's a one chord for the key of C, which is the C major, the six chord for the key of C, which is an A minor, then the four chord, which is basically an F major, and then finally the five chord, which is a G major. We get the numbers from the notes from the C major scale. So it's a C note, so C is going to be the one, D is going to be the two, E is the three, F would be the four, E or sorry, G would be the five, A is the six, B is the seven, and then C is the eight or the octave of the one again. Um, so basically, we're giving those notes an actual chord to go with them. In this case, the C it goes with a C major, the D with a D minor, the E with an E minor, and so on and so forth. F major, G major, A minor. B diminished, and then back to a C major. Um, but the point of this is to look at the song in terms of the Nashville numbering system, or the chord um, numbering system. So it's a one chord, a six chord, a four chord, and a five chord. And I'm not saying that this is like, like a C1 or an A6 or whatever. It's literally a C major, A minor, F major, G major chord structure. But what's going on though is we're doing some hammer-ons and pull-offs. So that's where things get interesting and that brings in our strum pattern. To break down the first chord, it's going to look like this. Hit the root note, then a down strum, up strum, then a hammer-on onto the C chord on the D string, and then down, up. So it went, and then it did that twice. Okay, once that's comfortable, then change that to an A minor, same strings, same riff. Okay. Then things get a little bit tricky. We're doing a new F shape. This is uh, basically going to be out of a combo of like an F2 and an F major 7. So our thumb is reaching around to the top, first fret of the E string. Then we're kind of keeping our pinky and ring fingers really curved. Think of a rainbow, right? Curve. And the way that you get that is by sticking your palm on the back of the neck while you put the chords on. So thumb, ring, pinky, in a basic power chord position. Then leave that G string open and add the pointer finger on what would normally be a C chord, C note. And then leave that, F, uh, that the E string open. So that goes like this. Okay. Then with regular G pointer finger hammering on to the D string. Now the last thing you do here is you do a pull off and then add on to the second fret of the A string. So walking through that, two, three, from the C. back to a C major chord. So all out, one, two, three, four. Now, if you're, fa if you're having trouble, especially on the, the getting the pull on, um, on the F major seven chord, what you're probably doing is keeping your guitar pushed out, and what you need to remember to do is push that back in like you're giving it a hug. You won't be able to see it, but you'll be able to feel it, and then it'll sound good. So that's all we got, dude. Have fun practicing Nashville Numbering System over Behind Your Eyes by John Foreman.